members to manage, position, and examine the sea lion. Opening their mouth, raising a flipper, or laying down on the beach are all behaviors that help us get a better look at the sea lions to make sure they stay in good health. By training the sea lions to station themselves in different areas of the pool during feeding, the keepers are able to make sure everyone gets their share. They watch what each animal eats and exactly how much. And having the sea lions comfortable with this routine can also help in case we ever need to give one of them medication. Some behaviors are more about having fun and are trained to further challenge the sea lions to think and act. Sea lions are naturally curious and playful, so the keepers may also use items like balls and tubes during the training sessions. Sea lions can be found around the world from the tropics to both poles. These are California sea lions, which specifically live along the Pacific coast from British Columbia to Mexico and around the Galapagos Islands. While sea lions are able to move around well on land, they are designed for spending a large amount of their life in the water. Their bodies are smooth and torpedo shaped, and this streamlining allows them to move easily through the water, even reaching speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Blubber is another important part of sea lion survival. This special layer provides energy, buoyancy, and insulation. Sea lions belong to a group of animals called pinnipeds. The word pinniped means wing-footed and refers to their flippers. This group includes walruses, true seals, and eared seals. Sea lions are in the eared seal family. Most people know what a walrus looks like, and you can see walrus at our New York Aquarium in Brooklyn. But it's very common for people to confuse sea lions and seals. Do you know how to tell the difference between true seals and eared seals? <laughs> Here are a few hints on how you can tell them apart. Look at the sea lion's head. They have small external ears called pinnae. These are the small flaps of skin you can see on the sides of their heads. You won't see them on seals. Sea lions have long front flippers, which they use to pull themselves through the water, just as we use our arms when we swim. Sea lions are also able to rotate their back flippers under their bodies in order to walk on land. Seals need to use their whole bodies to move on land and look something like a giant caterpillar. In the wild,